What is that? It's lighter fluid, isn't it? of strangers there is beverages and food located in the back for vending so um if you don't want to drink that dude's lighter fluid i would recommend you head to the back and get yourself something to drink god bless god bless tale to tell you. Yeah. Come on. Stang went through Subgenius 101 and told you the basics of being a subgenius, and I'm actually going to share with you church secrets. Yes. Um, because, yeah. screw it. I'm going to describe to you, I'm going to describe to you the stages of being a subgenius. is meh. Why should I send 30 bucks to some smiling dude with a pipe? Why do I want to do that? That's 30 bucks. You know what I could get for 30 bucks? The second stage is the jump. In the jump stage, you say, you know what? Why not send some smiling guy in a pipe 30 bucks? What the hell? The next my friends, is the Bobby phase. I'm Bobby. The Bobby phase kind of goes like this. You go to your first X day, and you've been listening to an hour of Slack, and you've been watching the DVDs, and you've bought CDs, and you've gone to the website, and you've hung out in the chat room, and you've been on all Slack, and you have a hero. I've done that twice. And there's this, this subgenius hero you have, and they're on stage, and oh my god, you just them in person and live and it's the most awesome thing ever and you're like wow I got to see them they're real they're in person this is so real and profound and so as they get off the stage after their rant and they walk down the steps and they're walking away you say hey 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 hi um hi um I I, I have every single one of your hours, uh, every single one of the hours of Slacks you've been on. I have every single DVD that you're on. I have the recordings of what you did last X day. I have a little bit of everything you've ever done. And um, I just I, I just wanted to know if you wanted to come to my camp. Um, I have I have some Budweiser and we're we're two roads back. There's a lot of mosquitoes, but I have bug spray and we're gonna play some D and D. Do you wanna come? Yes, that's your dragon. You're busy? Oh, oh you're going to Doc Croft's camp? Well, I can. Oh, okay. All right, well, if you want to, you can come by later. I'll be I'll be there all night. Oh, you don't think you'll have time? Oh, okay. Oh, no. All right. Well, I'll, I'll see you around then. Next day, and you're disappointed and you're heartbroken because your hero, your hero turns you down. And you think about it, and you're like, you know what? They looked at me like I had a third horn coming out of my head. They looked at me like I was some freak, and I'm not a freak. You know what? They're just elitists. They're in the hierarchy. They're elitists, and they're just stuck up. And you know what? Screw them. You know what? They're just hussies and and and. and, and and, and hippies and, and kooks and, and forget them, man, because because I'm special and well, damn it, I'm important and, and screw them. And you spend a year soaking in this hate and you go on Usenet and you post about how your hero, your ex-hero is just no, nothing but a kook no. and a quack oh, God, and your ex-hero is nice. nothing of import. And, 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 and you know what? You have a bottle of scotch that's worth more than this dude. You know what? He, he is nothing. He is worth nothing. He is nothing, and, and, and he is a 
and he can't play music and he can't rant. He's horrible. And damn it, you know what? You can do better. Damn it, you can. You'll show him because you're going to go to X Day and you're going to get on stage and you're going to rant and you're going to show him that elitist hierarchy bastard. You're going to show him that you're better than he is because you're going to get up and rant. And you do. And you go to X Day and you get on stage and you rant and you rant your heart out with all that hate that you feel for that bastard who screwed you over, who looked at you like you were the lowest of the low. And everyone loves it. And you're redeemed. And everyone's excited about it. And they come up to you and say, wow, that was a great rant. What's your name? Who are you? Wow, that was fabulous. And Stank puts you on our Slack. And people are exchanging copies of your rants on Usenet. And you're, 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 you're on the top of the world. And then so you're like, well, OK, I'll do it again next X day. And next X day comes. And you ran again. And it's great, and everyone claps. And as you walk off the stage, this kid comes up to you. And he's staring at you. And he's almost drooling on himself. And he's shaking. And he says, Dude, I have every hour of slack that you're on. I bought every DVD that you were on. I've got the DVD of Last X Day. Your stuff is the best ever. Oh my God, you're so great. We're camped about two roads back, and, and yeah, there's some mosquitoes, but we've got bug spray, and I've got some Budweiser, and we're gonna play D&D. &D. And, you, and you say, well, really, um, I appreciate the offer and everything, but um, I'm going to Doc Prof's camp, and then after that, I'll be sort of milling around with some friends I haven't seen in a while. And, I just don't think I'll make it all the way to the other end of the campground to see you. And I'm really sorry, but it was nice meeting you. And you scurry away because that guy is really creepy. <laughs> and then you go home and you look on all Slack and there's these people saying these horrible things about you. They're talking about how you're elitist and you're, you're, you're stuck up. And, and, and they're calling you a slut and a hussy and they're awful and mean to you. And then you realize... You're a member of the hierarchy.